And hello YouTube, this is GS Smart, and I'm here today with another brand new tutorial on Windows 7. And as you can see, I do have the uh, Mac uh, theme on my laptop here. So I do apologize for that if any of you might get a little confused. But it should be easy to follow since all the buttons and um, windows are the same. So today we're going to be teaching you how to get to the app data folder, which is hidden. And also show you how to um, show the hidden folders that are hidden by Microsoft because of security reasons. We're going to show you how to get around that and uh, let you view those folders. Now there are several ways to do this. If you just want to go to your app data folder, you want to press your start button, which is the flag at the bottom left corner of your screen. I mean it's an apple because of the theme that I have, but it should be a flag at the bottom left corner of your screen. And the search bar at the bottom here, you're going to type in run and press enter. Now this box should pop up. This is the run command. Now in this, uh, uh, where it says open here, and it's in this white box, you're going to type in percentage app data and percentage. Click OK. And then your app data folder will automatically come up. Now here's where all of your uh, program specific files are. All of your local, local, low roaming. So that's one way to do it by just using the uh, run command. Now, if you want to permanently um, show the folders, you're going to click your control panel, which is by the uh, start menu and cl click control panel, which is what I just opened. You just click control panel here, and this box will open. And you can click appearance and personalization. Then you can click folder options at the bottom of the list. Another dialog box will pop up. You're going to click the View tab. This View tab, and you will see your list like this. It'll have, it'll say at the at the middle of the list is hidden files and folders. By you, it's going to say don't show hidden files, folders, or drives. But you want to make sure that you have this one selected. Show hidden files, folders, and drives. Then click Apply. Then click OK. You can X that out. And now. If we go back to our computer, you click start my computer and you click you click your C drive, which is this one. You might have some other drives, but click C, it'll be in parentheses, click the C drive. And now your app data will be in users. It will be in for me it's gonna be owner folder. For you it might be the name of a user. If you name your user Brian, then click Brian. Or if it's owner, just click owner as well. And then app data is right here. Now all of your hidden files are recognized by a transparent faint folder here. As you can see, all these are very solid folders. This one is kind of faint. So just click that and there are all of your app data folders. Now make sure you don't delete anything in the local folder because these are all your registry files. You don't want to delete registry files because that could mess up your computer. So I wouldn't touch that. Now if you know your way around and you know what you're doing, you should be fine. But if you don't know much, then I would just use the run command if you need to go to your app data folder for some reason. And there are several other hidden folders here, such as the program data, the catch, and there are plenty of other folders. But if you don't know what you're doing, I wouldn't mess around too much because these are hidden for a reason, for security reasons. So if you know what you're doing, you should be fine though. So that's basically it. That's how you see your hidden folders, and that's how you go to your app data folder. And I hope you all learn how to do this. Thank you all for watching. I have more tutorials on my channel about Windows Movie Maker, um, GIMP, you know, just general Windows 7 tutorials, plenty of other tutorials. So if you want to check those out, you may do so. Subscribe if you want to do so. You may do so as well. Thank you all for watching. And this is GS Man Smart. Now you're back. Soon you think. Don't go anywhere.